Hi, everyone. About a minute on the Osage Tribe's huge, huge win in federal court in Tulsa last week. What was the ruling? The judge in the case, a federal court judge in Tulsa, ruled that Enel, the Italian company, will have to remove 84 wind turbines that it built on traditional Osage tribal land in Osage County, Oklahoma, will have to remove them at an estimated cost of $300 million. This is unprecedented. It is a massive black eye for the entire wind industry. It's a black eye for Enel, the Italian company, which has continually touted its green credentials and ESG and well, all it's doing on climate change. And what happened? The, the, the company purposely and continuously ignored the tribe's sovereignty by mining rock that uh, without the tribe's permission. And that was the key issue. The, uh, the company violated the mineral rights of the Osage Nation, and now it is going to have to pay the price. Um, the court ruling is really revealing, and I've been following this case for years. Um, the story is, in fact, a major part of our upcoming docuseries called Juice, Power, Politics, and the Grid, which will be, which will be out at the end of next month. Um, but the, a couple of key lines from the ruling um, in which the, the federal court found in favor of the Osage Nation and the Osage Minerals Council uh, the court granted permanent injunctive relief via ejectment of the wind turbine farm for continuing trespass. That's a, a, a ejectment is a new word to me. Um, the uh, the key here, of course, is the mineral rights, which the Osage tribe owns. Remember in the Killers of the Flower Moon and, and the Reign of Terror in the 1920s, uh, outsiders, whites from outside, uh, went, to the Osage, went to Osage County, killed Osage tribal members, for their head rights, for their oil wealth, for their land. Uh, and this is just a repeat of what happened back uh, a century ago. Uh, a couple of other key lines from the from the court ruling, uh, by mining without permission, and uh, the company violated the tribe's sovereignty, and the federal judge uh, concluded in L, quote, failed to acquire a mining lease dear or, during or after construction, as well as after issuance of the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals decision holding that a mining lease was required. That was in 2017. Uh, the ruling also said the company's past and continued refusal to obtain a lease constitutes interference with the sovereignty of the Osage Nation and is sufficient to constitute irreparable injury. So what does this mean? Enel is going to have to pay roughly $300 million to take down these turbines, which is unprecedented. They are also likely to face millions of dollars in uh, in, in damages um, uh, for what they did. And the tribe is going to get, they're going to go after them full, full force. Um, and well, they should. I've talked to several members of the Osage tribe. I'm from Oklahoma. Uh, my uncle was a member of the Osage tribe. These the, the Osages that I've talked to, they're thrilled beyond measure. And well, they should be. This is the longest running legal battle against wind energy in American history. And the Osage kicked Enel's ass. And the tribe is incredibly happy. And the well, they should be. I'm happy for them because what Enel did here, the arrogance and, uh, and, and greed that they showed in this case, just really unbelievable. Okay, I've written about this on my Substack. You know where to find me on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See you.